the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Good morning, all. Good morning. Uh, we are starting a bit late because of our Zoom. Sometimes you can't trust technology. So today we celebrate the Holy Eucharist of Thursday of the ninth week in ordinary time. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the Son of Justice. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are our way, the truth, and the light. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose providence never fails in its design, keep from us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us, and grant all that works for our good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, a descendant of David. Such is my gospel for which I am suffering, even to the point of chance like a criminal. But the word of God is not chained. Therefore, I bear with everything for the sake of those who are chosen, so that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus, together with eternal glory. This saying is trustworthy. If we have died with him, we shall also live with him. If we persevere, we shall also reign with him. But if we deny him, he will deny us. If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Remind people of these things and charge them before God to stop disputing about words. This serves no useful purpose since it harms those who listen. Be eager to present yourself as acceptable to God, a workman who causes no disgrace, imparting the word of truth without deviation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guards the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Teach me your ways, O Lord. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy towards those who keep his covenants and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenants for their instruction. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, 
Alleluia. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher. You are right in saying, He is one and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Our gospel this morning is the teaching of Jesus on the greatest commandments, which we know already as love of God and love of neighbor as we love ourselves. There are so many ways, there are various ways we can practice and keep these commandments in our daily lives, such as love by obedience. We preach, we proclaim, we hear God's words daily. The question remains, do we put them into practice? Or are we just listeners that don't put the word of God we hear every day into practice? When we put God's word into practice, when we allow God's word to reflect in our lives, to reflect in the way we carry on our daily activities, we are expressing our love to God. We are telling God, we are submitting our wills. We are surrendering our wills to God's will. We are telling God, let your will be done in our lives. Our prayer should be always that the perfect will of God may be done in our lives. So whenever we put his word into practice, whenever we are doers of God's words, we are expressing our love to God. Also, we can keep this greatest commandment by or through love of charity. To love through charity means to love our neighbor, to reach out to the needy. Loving our neighbor should always unnecessarily take us out of our comfort zone, stretch us. And our neighbors are not only those we know, even those we don't know, even strangers out there, even those we consider as enemies, they are all our neighbors. When we reach out to them, when we love them unconditionally, we are differentiating ourselves from others. 
we are showing them that we are Christians. We are unique. We are living Christ-like life as believers and followers of Christ. So we should always reach out and stretch ourselves and see that all are inclusive in our love. Should always not exclusive. All should be included in our love. And as we do this, we are keeping the greatest commandment of love of our neighbor as we love ourselves. And also love through prayer. How do we love through prayer? It is to be Christ-like. Like Christ, who even prayed for his executioners, asking God, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. So always, you know, in our prayer, we should not stop praying for ourselves, our brothers and sisters, or those who are related to us. Rather, all humanity should be always included in our prayer. Like 3 p.m. prayer, the divine mercy, we pray for the sake of your sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, in atonement for our sins and sins of the whole world. So not just for ourselves, for the whole world. And when we do this, we, we are proving we will be worthy to be called Christians because we are living Christ-like life. So my brothers and sisters, may we always strive to keep the greatest commandments of God. And when we, when we do this, Jesus will tell us, as he said in the scripture, you are not far from the kingdom of God. When we do this, we continue to draw closer and closer closer to our salvation as we live Christ-like life. May we present our intercessions before our all-loving God. For the intention of this Mass, that Raymond Brown is enjoying the peace of eternal life. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for God's divine healing and mercy on Eliano Peterson and all other brothers and sisters who are sick, for this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, we Christians, may the good Lord always give us his grace as we strive to keep the greatest commandment of love of God and our neighbor in both words and actions. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit and the, through the help of God. May we always treat each other with love, dignity, and respect. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the end of violence, inequality, injustice, and racism in our nation and also in the whole world. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And I invite you to add other prayers and the intentions and the needs in the silence of our hearts. For all these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious and merciful God, you tell us to pray always and not to lose heart. We, your children, have presented our prayers with trust and hope and belief that you will answer us according to your will through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, 
For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions, adores, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy Holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, <clears throat> he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jaime, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who are falling asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Thou the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May Mary to be co health to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and save from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you because I know you are already there, and I will never be separated from you. Help me to unite myself wholly to you and with brothers and sisters of divine Savior and of the whole world. Amen. Let us pray. Governed by your spirit, we pray, O Lord. Those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you, 
not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth. We may marry to enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember to join me at 3 p.m. to pray the chaplet of the divine mercy and also to adore, to adore our Lord and Savior in the blessed sacrament. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. This Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.